beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed son. Stay blessed. I want you to thank him for this year, 2014. Because I'm telling you, it says, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. The glory of the latter house. And when I'm talking about that house, I'm not talking about this building. I'm talking about you, the glory, the glory of my life. Oh, yeah. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I know the power of the Lord is risen upon me. Greater glory. I see the glory of the Lord. I'd like you to see a new dimension in your life. I'd like you to see a new level of influence. I see the glory of the Lord. I see the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. So I rise and shine. Rise My light shine. has come. My light is gone. And the glory of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I will arise and shine. risen and you will see wonders this year i believe it hallelujah 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 just one scripture before we sit down amos chapter 3 amos chapter 3 Amos chapter 3 verse 3 Bible says it shall come to pass in that day not this scripture and I'm just quoting something else it said the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted above all other mountains and as a result all nations will flow hallelujah Amos 3 verse 3 can we read one to read answer the question this is a question the Lord is asking you this year. 
can two walk together? In other words, are you ready to move at my pace? We can't walk together if you do not agree with me. There are many things that the Spirit of God wants to communicate, but he said, can two walk together? I want to walk with you. There are great things. Jesus speaking said, I have many things to tell you, but ye cannot bear them now. He said, how be it when he, the Spirit of truth, is come? He said, he will guide you in all truth. He will take up the things that are mine and he will show unto you. And so God, the first question God is asking us in 2014 is that can we walk together this year? Because you argued with God last year. The Bible says they limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Hallelujah. In Hebrews chapter 4, the Bible began to speak to us about the Sabbath, the rest of God. He said they perished in the wilderness. They perished in the wilderness. Because when the word of the Lord came, they doubted, can God make a table? Where will he get the materials to make the table? And the Bible says they limited God. And God in his anger swore that they shall not enter my rest. And the Bible says there remained this same rest for the people of God. Although they are the people of God, there remained this rest. He said, let it be that today if you hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation in the wilderness. They limited God. There remained a rest. There is a Sabbath. There is a seventh day that the Lord wants to initiate his people. He wants to bring them out of somewhere. I want you to believe what I'm saying. And the scripture the Lord says I should ask us is, can two walk together? Not you and your friend. Can you walk together with the Holy Spirit this year? To say, I may not understand how you will do this. But I know you will do it. Can two walk together? Will you finally agree with the Holy Ghost that he can take you from where you are? Will you finally agree with the Holy Spirit and say, Lord, this year, I'm not an unbeliever. I refuse to debate and argue whether I understand. Listen, this is the year you will keep aside the, the, the limitation that comes from logic and intellectualism. Hallelujah. To say, Lord, show me how one plus one will become ten. It's irrelevant. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am. one question the Lord is asking. Is there anything too hard for me to do? God this year, help me sound good. I want you to believe. Believe that God is able. Hallelujah. If you can answer this question tonight, then God is set to get the ball rolling. See, especially for those of you outside, I hope you are following. Don't let anything limit you. Many of us last year were just spectators. Just debating can God really do this? Can God really do that? There are some of us who are coming here for the first time. You've heard about the things. Let me tell you, your unbelief, the Bible says, shall their unbelief make the faith of God of non-effect. That means your unbelief will not stop God from being God, but it will stop you from entering that new level. So can two walk together? Can two walk together? I'd like you to pray one prayer and say, Lord, I'm ready to walk with you. I believe you inside and outside, no matter how far you are. 
make sure you are praying. Don't be distracted. Lord, this is the year that I am a believer. Logic will not stand my way. The challenges and failures of last year will not stand my way. I don't want to be a fool. I believe you. I choose to walk with you. I choose to walk with you. Hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you something. I must let you know that our yearly prophetic words are not just a mimicking of what churches do. Hallelujah. I've made it a culture for years. While many people are celebrating their Christmas, laughing and enjoying, I'm traveling with the Lord, finding out what the word of God is. I, I need you to know that we respect God and we honor God. When you see us bring words like this, trust me, God spoke to us. Hallelujah. The Bible says that which I tell you in the secret place, declare thou on the mountaintop. So it's not just some way, okay, December 31st, what do we do? No, no. Hallelujah. You don't need to be in 2014 to manifest as light or to have dominion. It has nothing to do with 2014. Hallelujah. When you believe the reality of God, you walk as light and dominion. But it's always been our culture as a ministry. See, let me tell you, the secret of the hand of God upon our lives is we always find out what God is doing globally. And we plunge into the global frequency of the spirit. Not just what God is doing across territories. It's always our culture to find out. What are you doing? The Bible says there were certain men called the sons of Issachar. They took time to understand the times. He said he made light to signify times and seasons. Hallelujah. And so it's our, it's our job to be able to... There are many people who preach that at the end of the year into the new year is irrelevant. You go and read the Bible why he made stars to signify times and seasons. As far as the earth realm is concerned, it functions with times and seasons. Eternity does not work with time. But the earth realm is bounded by time. That's why the prophets will speak and say, according to the time of life. The Bible will say, in the seventh year of the fifth month, of this and that, God did this. God is a God of prophetic timing. Hallelujah. And so I need you to understand that in this season, there are certain things that God is doing across the earth. There are certain things God is doing in the continent of Africa. There are certain things he's doing in the nation of Nigeria. And there is a role we have to play. It is this role that is encapsulated in our theme for the year. This is why many ministries have different things that God told them. Hallelujah. And so, the first revelation about a prophetic word is that it shows you God's expectation for you for the year. It's not just about receiving. It's an indication of responsibility. That there is a role that you have to play. Oh, I sense the presence of God so strong. Mighty, mighty, mighty. There is a role you have to play. Are you following me now? And there are blessings that are attached when you diligently follow that role. We are not confused at all. I was telling the leaders during our meeting, and I told them that this is not the kind of ministry that is always doing new things every year. All we are concerned about, I prayed a prayer and said, Lord, I don't want fame. All I want is impact. Impact upon the body of Christ. Many arm robbers in Nigeria were famous for causing catastrophe. Hallelujah. What we want to see is impact. Hallelujah. A year of light and dominion. This is what the mouth of the Lord has declared. 
and he will bring it to pass. Ours is to believe and to be guided accordingly. And so my job today is to open up the theme and prepare our hearts and watch the things that the Holy Spirit will do. But the question, God asked me this question and he said I should ask the house. Can two walk together? There are no two people that can walk together when they disagree. Somebody must succumb to another person's will. Is that true? So, this is not the year you will expect God to dance to your tune. This is the year you will die and let him have his way. And then you will see the wonder-working power of this God that we serve. Hallelujah. It's good to see everyone. Please hug everyone around you. Happy New Year. Inside and outside, make sure you greet somebody with a great smile and sit down. Let's just get to the word very quickly. Hallelujah. Never forget, it's a year of light and dominion. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for what God, what God is doing in our midst. We give him all the praise for his presence. Moses said, if your presence goeth not with us, do not take us from here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's a year of light and dominion. That's what the Lord spoke to us. And I'll be sharing on light. I'll be opening us up to the revelation. What, what is the meaning of this word? Hallelujah. Oftentimes, God communicates his intentions in coded languages and messages. Hallelujah. He would put it and grant grace that that revelation be opened up. When there is an opening of God's word, we can believe and we can walk in that reality. Hallelujah. So what is the meaning of it being the year of light? What does that mean? Just keep the issue of dominion first. What does it mean? What's the light about? Hallelujah. A year of light. There are two dimensions to this prophetic word as being light, a year of light. The first is that God wants us to have light. And the second dimension that is that he wants us to become lights. So he wants us to have, hallelujah, and then he wants us to become. The first dimension is the inner workings of light in and through us. And then the second dimension is what we will become to the world. And, and I'm going to just share very quickly. Hallelujah. So God wants us to have light. You cannot become what you are not. I mean, you cannot reflect what you are not. Is that true? And so he wants us to become. To as many as believe in him, he gave them power to become. He gives you power to become. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 119 verse 130. Psalm 119 verse 130. Please make sure you're writing. What does it mean to have light? What is light? What is God really saying? When he says it's a season, it's a year of light. What is his expectation? What is in the mind of God? Because the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit can search the mind of God. And make known unto us the accurate intentions and counsel of God. Psalm 119. The 
the entrance of thy words giveth light and it giveth understanding to the simple he said the entrance can we have other versions is that possible okay uh let's try new living translation nlt put it beautifully the teaching of your word gives light hallelujah the teaching of your word gives light so even the simple even those who are void of understanding hallelujah the entrance of thy word question if you pick up your bible and read it didn't say the seeing he didn't say the speaking he said the entrance so how can what you are reading enter you this is a mystery he said if it does not enter you it cannot give you light it can be stored as scripture but it only becomes light if it enters you the entrance of thy word give it light and even understanding to the simple so what is the revelation behind light write it the first revelation behind light is that light symbolizes supernatural insight into scriptures supernatural insight when god says it's a year of light that means he's granting us unusual access into scripture insight on common insight opening us up to understand the hidden mysteries the hidden mysteries that are encoded in scripture now you may ask why do we need these mysteries you see because the bible says god made many lights is that true but he made one light to rule so there is a relationship between light and dominion he said he made two great lights and that light although there were many lights the coming of that light enforced its dominion it ruled in the day and ruled in the night so the greater your light the greater you are able to walk in this authority and dominion but since that light comes through the word of god we need insight are you following me now let's see second corinthians 4 verse 6 quickly second corinthians 4 verse 6 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6. If you can give us in NLT or the message, anyone that is available. Hallelujah. Please read it. The message. Very interesting. It started when God said, Light up the darkness and our lives filled up with light as we saw and understood God in the face of Jesus Christ. All bright and beautiful. He said, as we saw and understood. Hallelujah. King James says, God who had commanded light to shine out of darkness has shined in our heart to bring to us the knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus Christ. So light connotes insight, depth of insight. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. We really, really need the light of God. Accurate insight into the word of God because jesus christ was cautioning the people and he said be careful lest your light be not darkness that means be careful so that what you are calling light may not really be darkness hallelujah luke 11 i believe luke 11 35 let's look at it luke 11 35 Just give us an um, amplified, amplified, okay, or you can just leave it. It says, take heed, therefore, let's start from 34, 34, the light of the body is the eye, is that true? It says, therefore, when thy eye be single, thy whole body is full of light, but when your eye is evil, your body is full of darkness, 35. It says, be careful, therefore, that the light that's in you is not darkness. There are many people carrying revelations they think is light, but it's darkness. 
Are you getting me? So God is saying, as you begin to explore the things you are calling light, contend for accurate insight so that you will not be carrying a revelation that is darkness. Whereas you convince yourself that I have Rema. There, there are all kinds of revelations in the body of Christ. And the Lord is saying, be careful. So that what you keep celebrating because of the flamboyancy, be careful. Let you not be the beguiled by darkness i'm telling you the truth there are many people carrying darkness around because it sounds good and sounds spiritual hallelujah because when it is light it should set people free it should deliver people it says the words that i speak unto you they are spirit so this is the year to guard your heart with all diligence and make sure that that which you uphold and absorb in your spirit is light indeed for the bible says it is possible that a man can carry darkness and believe he's holding on to light many people have been holding on to dark theologies dark mindsets dark philosophies for decades many of our family members have held on to teachings that were taught by prophets apostles teachers evangelists they will not let it go and the bible says be careful so that what you are carrying if it's a terrible thing when you are holding darkness and you want that darkness to bring light hallelujah supernatural insight so that god brings us into light indeed hallelujah it's a very painful thing if after many years you find out that what you've held on to and argued all your life was a lie. Is that true? There are many people who have held on to a lot of things. The baptism in the Holy Spirit for instance. There are so many people who have held on to all of these theologies. There's nothing like that. Deliverance for instance. There are many people who have held on to it. Oh, I'm born again. Everything is all right. But there is darkness in this family. And they will not confront it. No, there's nothing wrong. I'm fine. Until they become acute victims. And the Bible says, be careful. So this is the year when you will edit the things that you have kept in your spirit. And throw out anything that is not consistent with the word of God. No matter how long, it will require humility. Because some of us have argued over darkness for a long time. Hallelujah. Number two. Light connotes understanding and comprehension. It's not enough to know. It's not enough to know. You must understand. Job 32 verse 8. Eli who began to speak. And he said, but there is a spirit in man. He said, and the inspiration of the almighty... It didn't say gives men knowledge, make it men of understanding. There is a difference between knowledge. Knowledge tells you what is available, it creates awareness. Understanding guides you on how to apply it accurately. I've always used the example. Knowledge is that when you want to make jollof rice, for instance, you need rice, you need pepper, you, that's knowledge. Understanding tells you when to combine what ingredient where. Because that you have rice and you have this does not mean you can cook. Many people have knowledge that puffs up. The Bible says ever learning but never coming to the comprehension. So we have so many spiritual laws around us. But we do not understand what principles are responsible for what. So we just use any kingdom principle when occasion serves us. When you are afraid the nearest thing is the blood of Jesus or Holy Ghost fire or, or the anointing of the Holy Spirit or prayer or agreement. All of these things are spiritual keys. And you understanding is the ability to gain mastery over the operation. The operations of the kingdom. It's not enough to know. It's not enough to know. There is a spirit in man. And the breath of the Almighty can make what you know become understanding. He explains to you. He opens it up so that you are not confused. What makes a doctor a consultant? Listen, listen. Almost there are many things that a fresh doctor knows or a consultant knows that the fresh doctor knows. But he doesn't have understanding. Praise the Lord. 
when when a consultant is carrying out surgery he doesn't bring a special knife is that true it's the same knife the same everything but there is understanding and this is what many of us need to have understanding understanding so that when you see something happening in your family you are not confused you don't panic you know the exact spiritual law to bring into place this is what spiritual maturity is all about hallelujah i've said it again and again the opposite of fear in my opinion is not faith the opposite of fear is understanding you always fear what you don't understand there's nobody doubting that the chair you are sitting on now can hold your weight is that true anything you truly understand you don't become afraid of it again a pilot can man an airplane a big airplane because he has understanding and he's not afraid that a tiny man can drive hundreds of people thousands of feet above sea level because of understanding hallelujah somebody else can sit on that plane and say i believe we will not die that you were not afraid and you died courageously does not mean are you getting my point now it's not about dying courageously it's about not dying because at that point you are flying people the plane is nose diving and you're saying i know <laughs> we will arrive nobody should be still in this plane you are falling get understanding hallelujah get understanding number three light brings direction and every time there is direction there is an end to confusion direction psalm 119 verse 105 are you getting blessed tonight so that we don't just say light 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 direction the reason why many people run to prophets and apostles and people around is direction people want direction in every area of their life direction people go to herbalists because they want direction what is wrong in our family and what is the way out direction so when god says it's a year of light it means that there is an unusual grace to bring accurate direction to your life hallelujah it says your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path a lamp to my feet a light to my path that means an end comes to confusion because he will begin to let me see the bible says you shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way not these are the ways choose this is the way walk here in it and he said you will find rest for your soul many of us are trusting god what job to do many of us are trusting god where to settle down all kinds of things many of us are trusting our family members are confused what business to do what can i do everybody is asking question this year if you believe god god is saying i will come to you you will hear my voice in the night god will just come and bring direction direction that you've been waiting for years god will say this is it walk in it wise men saw the star from the east and he began they began to follow that light until they arrived at where jesus was no confusion they followed the light for as long as they kept looking at the light he kept directing them until it settled may the lord take the light and drop where your destiny needs to go and that you will just follow that light into unending levels of blessings and success light oh how we need direction how we need direction hallelujah somebody just gets up and feels like you want to go to Saminaka. You see, there is nothing as terrible as being in a place where God is not. Because he's not committed to defend you. Hallelujah. Psalm 43 verse 3. Very interesting scripture. Direction. Hallelujah. 
where we are today by the grace of God as a ministry is a product of divine direction. The ability to hear God. A lot of people say, I can be anywhere and I'll succeed. Try it. The Bible says, whatsoever he does prospers. Whatsoever he does prospers because it is directed. I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wished, as I was commanded. Hallelujah. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto your holy hill and unto your tabernacle. Let your light lead me. This must be your prayer. Send your light. Hallelujah. Send your light. Let your light lead me. Light means life. L-I-F-E. Connotes life. John 8, 12. If we can have it in the Amplified. John 8, 12. Very powerful scripture. I'm telling you all of the things that are encapsulated in this word light. John 8, 12. Once more, Jesus addressed the crowd. He said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not be walking in darkness, but will have the light which is. There is revelation that you have that will translate into the quality of your life. Are you getting my point? It says that this light this year can bring life to you. They are life to those who find them and health. That means the revelation you get can be what will be responsible for divine health. So that it's no longer an issue of guesswork. Hallelujah. Light. The light you have can put you in command of unbelievable realms of wealth and prosperity and it can add to the quality of your life. One department came to meet me and we were interacting with them and my heart broke so much. I was talking with them and just asking them their expectations for the year and what they want God to do for their life and family. I think almost everyone, their, their requests were just, or their expectations, intimacy with God and financial breakthrough for my family. There are many families that need the mercy of God. Is that true? It's easy for everybody to wear suit and come and sit down and laugh. But the Bible says, if you follow me, you will get light that will translate into light. Prosperity is a formula. It's not guesswork. It is specific. It is exact. And this is the year that you will know it for yourself. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we are unapologetic about wealth and prosperity. I'm not one of those many preachers that say, no, there's no problem. Just seek God. No. We believe. John Wesley said, any religion that does not cater for the economic well-being of the people is an irresponsible religion. We don't want people coming to worship and bow down and cry only to get up and go into prostitution and arm robbery and occultism because of lack. We don't want to hear that our parents are moving out Landlords are kicking them out of the house and every kind of thing happening. When you are blessed, it gives you options and you can choose to serve God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are many people who, get, who want to get married. For years they've been trusting God but there's no money. It's a terrible thing. Many of our family members want to do a lot of things. There are many of our family members, our parents are almost 60, 70 years. They cannot boast of one good house, not even a good car to help them. It's not, it's, it's an anomaly. But this year we will change it by the power of the light of God. Remember, God asked you a question, can two walk together? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Light also means showing forth. Ah, this is the part I love. Light connotes a display, 
a revelation, a manifestation, an unveiling. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise, shine. Not because you have entered a new year. Arise, shine because your light has finally arrived. That revelation, amplified please. Can we see it? Isaiah 60 verse 1. Amplified puts it in a beautiful way. Arise from the depression and prostration which circumstances have kept you. It says rise to a new life. This is a prophecy for somebody. He said, arise. This is a prophecy for a family. Arise from the depression, this degradation that circumstances have kept you. He said, rise to a new life. He says, shine. Be radiant with the glory of the Lord. Why? For your light has come. Arise. This is what many of us will be telling our family members. I tell you, this year, this year, some of you will single-handedly go home and just gather your family members and say salvation has come. What is wrong? What needs to be done in this family? Saviors, the Bible says, shall come out of Zion. It's time, this is the year your Christianity will have practical evidence to your loved ones. Don't blame them for going to harbor list until you can prove that there is a superior government that reigns on the earth. Don't blame them for going to witch doctors. Are you getting my point? Don't blame them for traveling around. We keep criticizing people rather than contending to deliver what is authentic. Let me tell you something. I showed the welfare department. Yeah, that was the department that came to see me. I showed them a video. Pastor Jakes called me and said, Josh, you need to see an incredible video. I said, really? What's the video? And he showed me the link. I I'm sure some of you have heard it. About a lake that just appeared in the east there was an explosion and the lake just appeared and muddy lake but it seemingly had the power to heal people thousands of people at once they went there no protocol no welfare no suit nobody called apostle people were coming from all over men you can keep criticizing human beings are too desperate to listen to you if you cannot bring the authentic light stop wasting your time are you getting my point? Watch the video and see people almost naked. They were videotaping them. They were bathing in the muddy water. That's because we men of God have failed them. We can stand and brag and make noise. And they will listen to us. Immediately they finish. They will travel and continue. People were cutting the tree. They were cutting the tree in the river just to take home. Paradventure. It will be responsible for healing and prosperity. And all of them, most of the people there said it has to be Jesus. How are you going to tell them this thing is demonic? When they sat down in your assembly for years and nothing happened. Are you getting my point? Let me tell you something. People are more desperate than ever. No rema. There was no man of God that came to compare spiritual things with spiritual things. The people were not daft. They came from all over. They were to an extent, brothers and sisters, that they were digging into the ground. And when they saw water, they just fetched it. People made money selling jerry cans, selling suya, selling, you know, the bike people. The bike people, they were interviewed and they were happy. They said, this has to be God. We've never had it this good. They said, do you plan for this water to stop? Say, why? No. Why? This is prosperity. I mean, ah. We are very unapologetic about the fact that it is God's desire to bless you. Prosperity does not take people to hell. It's materialism that takes people to hell. And materialism is not having materials. Materialism is the influence of what you have on your relationship with God. Hallelujah. Lazarus went to heaven with his poverty. Abraham with his prosperity is still in heaven. It was not too much money or lack of money that took them. Many of the requests of our family members, for some of us, the whole request of our family members, what can bring peace in our entire family is not more than 100,000. And then they go to a herbalist and give him 20,000 and it doesn't work. They now go and borrow 50,000 and give him because they are looking for solution. May you be that light this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
We are eyes and shine. Our light is come. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. We are eyes and shine. Our light is come. See the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. Hallelujah. Insight, understanding, direction, life is showing forth. The Bible says that we have been called out of darkness into his marvelous light. We, we should show forth. Comes from the Greek word doxazo, a display of the decree of a king's splendor. Hallelujah. It was the custom of kings in ancient times. That when they achieved certain feats, they will call people to come and celebrate with them. This was the case with King Ahasuerus. And so he brought them to come and see his provinces. This year, may the Lord make you an object of praise. That he will use you as a testament of what he can do with a man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have all of this, then you can now become the light. You can now become the light. What does it mean to become the light? It means to become a standard. It means it, it, to become a pattern. To become a reference. Hallelujah. That when they are looking for a genuine, authentic Christian, you can be a reference. Matthew 5, from verse 14 to 16. Matthew 5, verse 14 to 16. The Bible says, you are the light. Matthew 5, you are the light of the world. The light of this system, cosmos. You are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. That means whatever has covered your light this year must give way. You are a city set on a hill and cannot be hidden. Verse 15. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket. He said, but on a lampstand and it will give light. Because of you, many people, you will be like the ark of Noah that incorporated. There are people who are not even born again, but because of your presence, the, the, the span of your light will cover certain people. There are many of our loved ones that need us. Without us, they may die. And the Bible says it gives life to all who are in the house. Verse 16. Let, permit your light. Let it so shine. Before who? Not before trees. God wants your light. That which he has made you become. He wants it to shine before men. That they may see your good works. And glorify your father in heaven. Hallelujah. So as an individual, you will become a standard this year. That you will be a portrait of a balanced Christian. Holy, prosperous, healthy. Genesis 24 verse 1. It says, and Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And God had blessed him in all things. All things. All things. This is the year we will contend for every part of our life. To look like the image of the Christ. Hallelujah. You must contend. Not that you'll be prosperous and be sickly. Not that you'll be healthy. No, no. Every area of your life. Let your light so shine before men. That they may see your good works. And glorify your, your father in heaven. As a ministry, this is our prophetic destiny. The standard. Isaiah 49 verse 6. Oh, I believe this with all my heart. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from your throne and the earth will hear. Send your word from your throne and the earth will hear 
my altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Lord, my worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you. God gave me this specific word. I shared it with the leaders. This is what God is going to be doing with us. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. This is what we have been doing. To raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. But this is the new mandate. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. It says that thou mayest be my salvation, not bring it, be it. You will become a representation of my salvation even to the ends of the earth. It says you have been faithful raising people, training people, building people. I now measure a thousand cubits and I increase capacity. He said I will also, in addition to what you are doing, I will give you as a light. I will give you as a light unto the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation to the ends of the earth. This is what God is going to do this year. And then he will bring us through this light into a realm of dominion. Rulership. Let me show you one very powerful scripture. Zechariah 1.21 Dominion means absolute control. It means rulership, sovereign authority, the ability to be in charge and to be in control. Hallelujah. This dominion is not just dominion over men, but dominion over first the forces of darkness. Are you getting my point? Then said I, what come this to do? Amplify it, please. Can we have amplified? Then said I, what are these horns and smiths coming to do? And he said, these are the horns or powers that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. There are horns that have stopped families from laughing. There are horns that have kept people down. He said, so that no man lift up his head. There are families and destinies where no man has been able to lift up his head. No marriage, no joy, no prosperity, no increase. Their spiritual lives dead. He said, but these smiths or workmen have come to terrorize them. These are the carpenters that God is sending. Hallelujah. It says they have come to terrorize, to cause them to be panic stricken, to cast out the horns or powers of the nations who lifted up their horns against the land of Judah. This is the year you will see the practical displacing of Satan. It will be a contention of light over darkness. Once and for all, the devil will give up over your life and your family. Please believe it. Please believe it. This is what dominion is all about. It's not about being commander-in-chief and telling people, come and clean my chair. This is foolishness. Dominion is the ability to be a light. Hallelujah. He said, those in Nephtha and Zebulun have seen a great light. A great light has come to them. Distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us. 
Distant shores and the islands will see your light. So there are horns. Remember our teaching, give me this mountain. Brothers and sisters, upon every mountain there are giants. There is a spiritual dimension to this life. Hallelujah. People do not just sit, just succeed or, or experience breakthroughs and increase. But this year, by the grace of God, we will arise because our light has come. And we will compel darkness to bow. And all of these horns that have terrorized people and families, they will give way. One scripture, Psalm 1110. Psalm 110, sorry, 110, verse 2. A popular scripture. We'll read it together. 110, verse 2. Let's read, it's projected. It says, the Lord shall send the rod. What is that rod? Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. That rod is the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the comforter. He said, the Lord will send a dimension of the Holy Spirit that will open men to light. And on account of that, he said, rule thou. Not in their absence, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Many of you, your parents have not gone to the village for years because they know when they go, they will die. You are the one who will go and say, let me see the devil. Rule thou. Rule thou. This is the year you speak to somebody and say in the name of Jesus, let that barrenness be over and it leaves at once. This is the year somebody will come and lie down on your bed and get filled with the holy spirit and just get up born again filled with the holy spirit somebody takes tea in your house and goes back and unending breakthroughs because they just contacted light the bible says the light shines in darkness rule thou the lord will send the rod out of zion see let me tell you your blessing is not authentic until your family members participate in it this selfish Christianity of chop alone, where it, the, the kingdom doesn't work that way. As for me and my... Hallelujah. I went home and I saw dramatic levels of breakthrough in my house. I said, that's right. This is exactly how it should be. Hallelujah. The devil will be under your feet. Hallelujah. This is why we are teaching because the Bible says we should do this. But Hebrews chapter 2 tells us that we do not yet see all things. Remember our scripture? Let's look at it. Hebrews 2. Verse 6 to 8. That's why we need light to enforce our dominion. Hebrews 2. But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visitest him? 7. Thou hast made him a little lower than Elohim and crowned him with glory and honor thou didst set him over how many all the works of your hands that means nobody can use what was created to do enchantment against me the bible says i've been given authority how can a man use stone or use goat or animal and then make incantations i pity the man that will call my name in a shrine this is the year it will catch fire both the herbalist the person who brought it the Bible says Dagon fell. Dagon fell in the Bible. He has given him authority over all the works. All the works. Hallelujah. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all things in subjection under his feet, he left nothing that is not put under him. But this is a dilemma. I said, but now we do not yet see all things are you seeing why light is important without light there's no dominion you can claim it but it may not work it says the reality now so it speaks to us about god's perspective that this is what has been done but right now today 
we do not yet see all things under his feet but when light comes it will grant us access to rule in the day and to rule in the night hallelujah you believe this these are the mighty things that God is going to do Nigeria the Lord revealed a few things to me I'm not a prophet but God speaks to me and the Bible says that which I tell you in the secret place declare down the mountain top we need to pray for our government I saw a lot of political chaos in fact a lot of chaos hallelujah we need to pray a lot of chaos we need to pray for the president that his life be preserved hallelujah and then the Lord showed me I saw another terrorist group that is even greater than Boko Haram. Hallelujah. And they will begin to be pronounced again and again. And this is the wickedness that the devil wants to bring. This will not just be Nigeria, across the entire sub Saharan Africa. Because it's an agenda. There is only one resistance to all of this. God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I saw so many things. I told you last year. Or in 2007, the Lord told me, if you can remember. I said an economic recession was going to come and hit the world in a very great way. That was when I began to talk of massive kingdom wealth transfer. In 2008, I said, this is the year. And when it happened, I said again that this is the first one. Another one is coming. And the Lord told me this year, the economic recession will hit again for the second time. You can't pray against it. You can only exempt yourself. It's a written judgment. Hallelujah. It's going to happen. Very chaotic. It will humble the government of nations. Hallelujah. It will humble people a lot. Nigeria is going to begin to come to the lamb light, especially in terms of economics. Last year I said that Nigeria was going to lead Africa in terms of economic empowerment. Go and read the newspaper, it has happened. With over about 400 billion or so ahead of South Africa. This is happening. God himself is bringing all of this. And there will be such a manifestation of deliverance in Nigeria this year this thing called deliverance you will see it in dramatic ways it will no longer just be in churches because of light and enlightenment hallelujah deliverance it will look like an object of mockery but don't you criticize it because it's the, the preparing ground for the birthing of something powerful I told you about Ghana South Africa and Nigeria Nigeria is going to it's going to do a lot of mighty, mighty exploits this year. Forget about all the stories that people are saying. God is faithful. Hallelujah. I also see that the Lord revealed to me a number of things. We have to pray against death for many, not families here, but generally in the country. We have to pray against death. Hallelujah. And I saw one of the things that the enemy is doing is infecting people with incurable diseases. This one is no longer just, hallelujah, diseases that medical science may not even be able to detect. You just see people just dying. Hallelujah. I don't know when it will happen. But I'll keep announcing it. I saw the death of somebody who was once a president in this country. Hallelujah. 
I had seen this two years ago. I was there in a vision. I saw his obituary. And every new year, God keeps reminding me. I honestly don't know when it will happen. But let's watch and see. Hallelujah. And God is going to be doing great things. This year, we will experience levels of financial prosperity. Write it. Write it, please. Write it. I'm not just talking. Write it. It's one of the things God specifically told me. Specifically. If you don't believe it, no problem. You can believe the other things that we have. But yes, there will be an avalanche of wealth and prosperity. Praise the Lord. We need to pray against death. I saw a lot of ABU lecturers dying. A lot of ABU lecturers dying. This thing started last year. I began to caution this thing. A lot of ABU lecturers, especially professors. We need to pray because it's a demonic thing. It's not just normal. No. It's a very demonic thing. I saw a lot of academic exploits too this year. A lot of mighty academic exploits. Please believe me. Believe me, recovery, restoration for people, especially people who have been praying. I want us to pray, so I'll just hurry up. I'm just, I don't want to forget anything. Marriages, miracle, mighty, mighty marriages. I saw this one. It was so much, I was surprised. Honestly, I saw marriages, I was scared. Trust me. We will all live to see it. I don't mean here, Koinonia. Mighty, mighty marriages. Yes. How could I have skipped it? I saw a lot of marriages. Including those who did not even plan it. Yes, I saw surprises. Except, except, look, let me tell you, thank God we'll all be alive to see it. You will see people who did not, it was not part of their goal in January, but the hand of God will move. Just leave God to do what he wants to do. It's a year of light and dominion. That's why God said, can two walk together? Listen, listen. And this is the scripture the Lord told me. When Abraham took Isaac for sacrifice, there was no lamb yet. But he said, just go Jehovah Jireh. God will provide. And the Bible says, listen, when the obedience of Abraham was tested, he said, just go across, there is a lamb. On the second time, when Jesus needed to enter the city, he said, go to a city called Straight. You will see a coat that no man had ridden on it. Tell them the master has need of it. Believe it. I love saying things before they come to pass. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we will experience levels of expansion and impact. I saw it a lot. Levels of expansion. I saw a lot of people getting blessed from Niger, Niger Republic. I don't know what it is about that place, but I saw so many people from the teachings, Niger Republic so blessed i mean it was a wildfire it was causing a wildfire especially among the young people hallelujah so many other miraculous things that the lord showed me we will discuss it as we come as as the year um another oh i remember i must say it i saw something that shocked me well let me just say it still about prosperity I was taken in a vision and I remember I was standing in front of this church. This, the, the Equa church. And I looked and I saw an array of
cars. In my mind, listen, listen. In my mind, I was saying, uh uh, a lot of cars right from that place down. And I was, I was, I was wondering, I said, Lord, what is all this one again? This is amazing. This is what you are going to do for families and for people. And many of them will be gifts. It will not be something that someone will buy. Gifts. Gifts. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. of dramatic manifestations of miracles signs wonders in a scale that will shock you families i saw a lot of unbelievers i saw a lot of muslims coming here i saw a lot of some of our family members that vowed that they will never come here you watch them by themselves you don't need to by themselves the mighty things that God will do. Mighty things. Mighty things. In the rain, in the sun. Hallelujah. These great things that God will do. Hallelujah. Do you believe these things I'm sharing? Hallelujah. God will do this. For the glory of his name. Praise the Lord. I wanted to say it to him personally, but Bishop, I saw you driving a Camry. Write it. Brown Camry. I've been struggling to tell him. God will bring a lot of prosperity, even in the house. You know, we had been planning for just one bus. You will be amazed to see what God will do this year amazed amazed not just because of project 10,000 hallelujah see the Bible says when Jesus was born some people saw the light and they started coming with their gifts they came with gold they came with frankincense they came with man and the Bible says they started looking for that star nothing would deter them until they found the baby and they began to drop the gift watch out and see dramatic manifestations people would just be sleeping and god would just wake them and say come and bless the house of god come and bless the work of god hallelujah and i saw this spilling over to many families even restoration restoration supernatural restoration hallelujah very quickly so we'll pray a few resolutions that i want you to adopt this year a few resolutions you need to make up your mind on some things it's not enough to shout amen he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecies that have been spoken unto you so when prophecy comes the Bible says a virgin will bear a son. It never said Mary. Mary made herself available. Huh? The Bible tells us someone was going to betray him, Jesus. He never called Judas. Judas aligned with that prophecy. Prophecy is like rain. If you bring a bucket, you will get water. Hallelujah. Number one. You must have a childlike heart of a learner. This year, 2011, you must increase your passion for insight. You must increase your passion. 
And this requires meekness and teachability. This is the year you throw away arrogance, MOG, MO, whatever. Just throw it away and humble yourself. Hallelujah. When it was time for Jesus to give them bread, he said, tell the people to sit down on the grass. That means if you are too big to sit down, no bread for you. He said, if you are interested in eating bread, sit down. Hallelujah. He says, one thing is needful. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but this one thing is needful, to sit. Not to stand and be staring at the master, to sit. A position that puts you... In ancient times, when a rabbi was teaching, the people sat down. Nobody would stand and be listening to a rabbi. So this is the year that you will sit down. You must have a passion in your heart to learn. Some of you, even when you come out to pray, the way you are praying, we know you are far from God. You cannot even construct a good spiritual sentence. You just mix everything. You just know that this is... You know how politicians talk. When they come on stage, they try to act like they know God. But their addictions betray them. One of the common things in any culture is their language. Hallelujah. Number two, you must have a resolve. You must have a determination to apply and live by the revealed truth. No matter the price and no matter the temporary challenge. You must have a resolve. A determination to apply and live by the revealed truths. These truths that you are hearing, it will not profit you. Please, those outside, make sure you are listening. If you cannot write anything, you can come and meet the media people and they'll give you, our messages are free after the meeting. Apply the things, it's not just what you know, but what you know, what you understand and apply. Hallelujah. Apply the truth. No matter the price. No matter the challenge. Number three. You must have a resolve to place God and his agenda this year. Above every other pursuit. Above every other quest. And above every other ambition. You cannot give God second place this year. Hallelujah. So it's a time for you to go back and search. What have you put above God? There are many of us, you love God, you are born again. But for sure, God is not number one. You must make him above all. The true proof of love and passion is commitment. You cannot claim to love a man or a thing and not be committed. Doggedly committed. And let me use the opportunity to encourage you. Join a department. There are many of you that have been sitting here for one year, two years. You just come and find the place clean and you just start laughing. It's not good. You don't know how the chairs are clean. You don't know who swept what. You don't know where they had the rehearsals. And, and you are full of potential and grace. There is a dimension that only kingdom service can take you into. This should be the year. Many of us are afraid of commitment. Because we know we don't want to be serious with God. You don't want a situation where people will probe your life. There are many departments. Make yourself available. Hallelujah. Make yourself available. Huh? So just coming to sit inside and sit outside. Immediately they finish the grace. You and your friend, you just run away. Serve the Lord with diligence. Hallelujah. Number what now? Four? Okay, just two more. Resolve to see the glory of God revealed in every area of your life. Make up your mind that this year, I'm not going to celebrate God in one aspect of my life and then have another aspect staring at me. That means you must go and write all the areas of your life. I have a series on prosperity coming, so I'm going to teach on that. But let me give you a preview that there are five areas of your life that you must experience prosperity. The word prosperity comes from the word prosper. It means to do well. First is spiritual prosperity. Second is mental prosperity. If you're a billionaire and you are mad, you are not, that's, that's, it doesn't make sense. Is that true? Number three is your health. Number four is your finances. And number five is your relationships. These five areas. You must contend 
and tell God this year I must have rest round about the glory of the Lord must be revealed in every one of these areas five resolve to enforce order in every area of your life this is very important many of us are so disorganized this is the year you will grow up in Jesus name disorganized in every area of our lives this is the year you bring yourself into a level of decorum have order hallelujah one proof of excellence is order when everything is done decently when everything is done in order order means efficient management of your time your opportunities your resources bring your life under divine order no wasting of time no wasting of resources no wasting of opportunities you must bring your life under divine order hallelujah and finally you must make a determination to spend time with god this year in worship in prayer let seven days not pass let a week not pass that you will not dedicate at least a day in prayer and fasting those who built us spiritually did not teach us that prayer and fasting are part of the tools for efficient spiritual growth. So every time we do it, a lot of people just say, oh, okay, let's fast for 7 days or 21 days or 30 days or 40 days or 100 days or 200 days. And then after that, the people now say, God, I've given you your own share of the year. Leave the other for me. No. Fasting must be part of your life at least once in a year. Or once in a week, sorry. Thursdays are a good time to fast. Can fast on Thursdays. Prepare yourself. If you can't fast full day, at least fast half day. Quality half day. Quality half day. Don't wake up by 10 and, and pray by it. See, you remember the resolutions we are making. Some of you are already laughing. This is the year when you will be serious with God. If you want true spiritual power, spend time with God in fasting. Don't let anybody tell you the era of fasting is over and so on and so forth. No, no. Thursdays, for instance, 6 to 12, 6 to 2, 6 to 4, 6 to 6, as God grants you the ability, very soon it will become part of your life. And then you will see the enormous spiritual capacity. He gave unto one five unto one two unto one one not according to their prayer request according to their ability the capacity they gave him determined what he gave them when the man with five increased capacity he sees it from the person with one and added to him if you enlarge when there was no more vessel the oil stopped flowing hallelujah praise the lord our priority this year as a ministry will be to build, to equip and empower God's people. Even through these meetings, we will keep on doing what we are doing. The hand of God is here. By the grace of God, we trust that this year, God will use this ministry in a very mighty way. Hallelujah. That every week will be a time of an unveiling of deep truths applicable revelations that you will see transformation in your life i was praying to god and i was i think i was discussing with the welfare i said this year by the grace of god i plan i i, I don't know I, I let me not implicate myself here but i pray that god will help me hallelujah i want to make sure that as much as possible every friday i'm around you see because my primary assignment is not to the nations around my primary assignment is to you first if you are not well fed and i'm around making everybody say joshua selman koinonia and my own people are dying here reminds me of some of our parents isn't it we'll be dying at home and they are donating money in in foundations and and charities which is good but make sure your own people are well fed you can even add that as part of your goals this year that you will not do anything to anybody outside your family except God instructs that you have not done to the people around hallelujah if you buy chicken for other people then it means that there's chicken in your house 
if God gives you an instruction, it's okay. But where you just get up and stab the people in your house to feed other people, it doesn't make sense. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We trust God that we will experience healings, deliverance, and restoration and breakthroughs even through the power of the Holy Spirit. We really want to take advantage of our counselings, our Monday counselings. From this night, officially, we've resumed work. Our counselling, we want to dedicate time to minister to the people. Our Friday programs, Koinonia, School of Ministry. Uh, more announcements will come on that, but we plan to take the School of Ministry very, very serious. It's a special time we have to train and build our students, our external ministration, media ministry, and so on and so forth. We are doing a lot uh, in Koinonia this year. And as other instructions come by, we will comply accordingly. Hallelujah. Say after me, this is my year of light. It's my year of dominion. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Rise up on your feet. We're going to take some quality time to pray. This is how to establish the prophetic word. We are not rounding up, we are praying. Hallelujah. I want us to take some time to pray. It says, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you war a good warfare. What does it mean to war a good warfare in prayer? To say, Lord, I receive. This must be part of my life. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Please, I want you to pray instrumentalist. I hope you're ready. We are going to pray very, very seriously. Very seriously. Lift your voice and begin to thank him for the prophetic word. Say, yeah, of light and dominion. Begin to bless him. Thank you for the word, oh God. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. Make sure you are praying. Outside, everywhere, make sure you are praying. This is between you and God. You are making the word real to you. Lord, is my year of light, my year of insight, increased insight. I thank you for the word. I thank you for the word. I believe the word. I will see it manifest in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Supernatural insight into scripture. Say, Lord. Open my eyes this year. Lift your voice and pray. Rekoto so tekapa. Open my eyes, oh God. Show me hidden mysteries. Let there be an unfailing, a revelation of deep kingdom mysteries, deep kingdom principles that are responsible for victory, for health, for prosperity, that will empower me. To be an ambassador in thee. Open my eyes. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Searching the inward parts of the belly. Open our eyes, O God. That we may behold wondrous things out of your law. Give me revelation. Pray. Paul said for this cause I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of revelation and understanding the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light that he may know that he may know pray open my eyes oh God open my eyes oh God Hallelujah. Insight. That you will just pick up your Bible and God will show you something that will set you on your feet 
it will show you something that will open you up to a, another world of grace hallelujah hallelujah listen listen two years or three years ago one time i was praying and the lord showed me a vision and that thing changed my life forever i saw like a big like an ancient door and when i looked at it very well i found out that there were small small doors that made up that big door and when i came closer it, it was like they zoomed me and when i came i found out that on every of those small small doors there were scriptures written on it and the lord told me that whatever scripture that truly enters you that door is open unto you that means what is possible for some uh, may not be possible for Folake. Are you seeing that? The difference is that the light you are seeing is not sufficient to open that door. But the Bible says, I have set before you an open door. No man can shut it. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. We are going to pray for understanding it's not enough to have insight listen listen take this prayer point seriously you're going to say lord all the principles that are responsible for the various areas of lifting show me how they work show me how they work lift your voice and pray show me the keys of wealth oh god show me how to operate it show me the keys of the anointing Show me how to access the fountains of spiritual power. Show me the keys of holiness. Show me the keys of deliverance. Show me the keys that will make me command power even in my family. Make sure you are praying, understanding, and with all you're getting, get understanding. Know how it works. Know how it works. It's not enough to have keys. Know how to apply it for maximum results. Pray. Pray. Show me, oh God, the keys. Show me how to operate it. The Bible says they know not. Neither do they understand. And so they grow up in darkness. And the earth is out of course. Show me. I tell you, many of you as you are praying right now, God will begin to give you understanding. Show me the mystery behind the operations of wealth. Show me the mystery behind the operations of grace. Show me the mystery. What makes the spirit of God become so real to a man show me the secret of church growth the secret of increase the secret of influence the secret of leadership the secret of power the secret of abundance show me oh god the mystery of doing business in deep waters of the spirit show me show me teach me oh god hallelujah 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 we are going to pray isaiah 48 verse 17 can we project that Let's see, I hope I'm right. Everybody read it. Isaiah 48. You're going to pray and say, Lord, this year, you are going to direct me and my life will experience increase only. He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit. I can teach you how to do it. 
and lead you in the way that you should go. Lift your voice and pray. Rekoto Sekata. Divine direction. Let the stars shine. Let the morning stars shine, oh God. Lead me to the place of destiny. Lead me to the next level. I'm tired of confusion. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Go ahead and pray. Maritali, give me direction, oh God. I cry for direction. Financially, give me direction, oh God. Academically, lead me, oh God. Let the star arise and let me follow the star. In terms of my career, lead me, oh God. Rekoto Seketa. Lead me, show me in my ministry. Show me, oh God. Show me, give me direction. Pray, illumination by light. I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit and lead you. Show me, show me, show me, oh God, where you want me to be. What you want me to do? Who you want me to connect with? Show me, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. You're going to pray and say, Lord, let a new dimension of unction, let a new dimension of power man to my life this year. Lord, I want to move in the anointing in a level of grace. He said, and he measured a thousand cubits. Lift your voice and pray. A thousand cubits. And he was to my ankle. For no man can do these things except God be with him. Pray. My horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. And you will anoint me with fresh oil because thou hast loved righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, even thy God, had anointed you. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Pray. Lord, I'm moving in the anointing. Pray. This is the year you do business with the anointing. You do your job with the anointing. You minister with the anointing. You conduct your activities under the influence of a heavy unction. He says you have an anointing from the Holy One and you know all things. Pray. Pray. Worship Him. Pray. We minister with the anointing. Media, pray. The anointing takes us to another level. Pray, Aban, pray. We are praying with the anointing. Regoto Seketa. Koinonia, pray. This is our year of the anointing. Inside and outside. No matter how far you are, let that anointing take you. Walk in signs, wonders, miracles. Let the sick be healed through your life let breakthroughs let chains be broken let lives be delivered and restored let sinners be saved let the anointing make you a savior let the anointing make you a deliverer hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we're done. Please, everybody, participate. We're establishing the prophetic word right now. Hallelujah. Listen. This next prayer point is very important. You're going to pray. Listen. The Bible says, Arise. It says, Shine. And the Bible says in Daniel, 
I believe 12 or 22 or so, I can't remember, verse 3. It says, And they that be wise shall shine like the firmament of the heaven. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore. Listen, you are going to pray. It's not a selfish prayer. Don't pray for your neighbor. You are praying for yourself. You are going to say, Lord, display, show what you have put in me this year. My God, let men see the hand of God. Go ahead and pray. Unveil it. Unlock it, oh God. In 2014, my year of light, I manifest. I am a city to my family, in my department, in my faculty, in my place of work, in my place of business. Reketetetekata. Let there be a showing forth. Show forth, oh God. Show forth prosperity through me. Show forth a healthy Christian through me. Show forth holiness through me. Show forth breakthrough through me. Let me become a portrait and a pistol. Show forth. Manifest, oh God. Manifest, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are many of us. This is the year. Your destiny help us are, so, so, are supposed to see you. Hold on. You are going to pray that that veil that has covered that grace of God in you, that unction, the Bible says there is this treasure. There are many of you, you have been relegated to the background. This is the year. This is the year. Say, Lord, arise in me. Come on, pray. Lord, arise. Let men see you through me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you are looking for a vessel, I'm available. Let me be an epitome of the anointing, an epitome of wisdom, an epitome of wealth and prosperity, an epitome of leadership, an epitome of power, an epitome of revelation. Pray. Pray. Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, this prayer is so powerful. There are many of you that have business ideas, but nobody knows. It's an idea that can bless you and stop hunger in your family but nobody knows when light comes it exposes darkness let me show you a scripture galatians 1 galatians 1 let's just look at that one scripture galatians 1 verse 23 and 24 galatians 1 god wants to walk through you not for pride and arrogance are you getting me I'm not talking of the kind of lifting and influence that takes you to hell. But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preached faith which once he destroyed. 24. Everybody read it. One to read. And what? How did they glorify God? That means when they saw what God did with my life and they said, Lord, is this what you meant when you said you can bless people? Is this what you meant when you said you can use people? Are you ready to pray this prayer again? Lift up your voice. Say, Lord, I'm available. I'm available. Make a spectacle out of my life. Lord, make a spectacle out of Koinonia in 2014. Doxazo, let there be a display of the glory. Let the nation see we are a city on a hill. They 
glorified God in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to pray for yourself now and your family. And say, Lord, it's also my year of dominion. Listen, you are going to pray. And say, Lord, I don't just want to chorus this. It must be dominion. Dominion means absolute control. Are you listening to me? Therefore, pray that for you and your family, whatever has mocked God to your face, this is the year it must come under your feet. Lift your voice and pray. Dominion, oh God. Kingdom authority. Pray. Is it finance? Is it a terminal disease? Is it lack of breakthrough? Is it sin? Your family members are not safe. Pray. Get angry in your spirit. Those outside are you praying? Those outside are you praying? Record to secretary. Total dominion. No more fibroid this year. No more getting sick and getting well. No. Pray. No more prosperity today and poverty tomorrow. You will not be on fire today and backslide tomorrow. No. The part of the joss is as a shining light. It shines brighter, brighter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now you are going to pray for Koinonia. We are going to say, Lord, take us to another level. Take us to another level. Another level of impact. Another level of prosperity. Pair yourselves into three. Pair yourselves into three. Those who are lying down or praying, just leave them. Those who cannot stand, just leave them. I want us to pray seriously. Hallelujah. You're going to say, Lord, lift us up. We're not just asking for fame. We're asking for impact, salvation, transformation. Come on, lift your hands and pray. Let this place become Bethel, the place of bread. Bethel, the place of bread. If you love this ministry, pray. The ministry is not Joshua Selman. The ministry is you. Lord, a harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. Transformation, oh God. Drunkards will come here and become apostles. Prostitutes will come and become prophets. Your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst. Your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst. This year we experience character. We experience excellence at another dimension. We experience wealth and prosperity as a ministry at another dimension. Revival, oh God, let there be a fire of revival that will spark from here and spread to the nations and spread to cities and spread to campuses and spread. Pray. Pray for our Friday programs. Pray for the counselings. Pray for all our external ministrations. Pray. Pray for the miracle services. Lord, let every service be a miracle service. Beginning from this one, let every service be a miracle service. 
Let this place become a solution center. Let this place become a place of authentic miracles, authentic signs, wonders, breakthroughs, restoration. Let the sick come and be healed. Let blind eyes be healed. Let incurable diseases be cured. Let there be a mantle of healing, of breakthrough, of prosperity. May men come here and have their spiritual lives fired up. Fired up. Passion, oh God. Passion, oh God, for the things of the spirit. This is a place where we infect people with hunger, with passion, with fire for the things of the kingdom. Pray. This is a place of love, no discrimination, no discrimination. This is a place of love. Everyone is special. Everyone is honored. We will not teach error in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. We're almost rounding up. Listen, please. Inside and outside, everybody listen. Please. Hallelujah. I want you to know that in 2014, you are first an ambassador of heaven. Second, you are an ambassador of this ministry. Are you listening to me? That the gentleman who came and testified that he went to preach. I'm not the kind of people that does God of this, God of that. I don't have any. We teach kingdom. We give you a kingdom mindset. Are you listening to me? But because you belong to this structure, you must, there are certain, we have a culture. Are you listening to me? We have a culture. You can come as you are, but you do not remain as you are. Something should happen and change you. Hallelujah. We have core values in this place. Our first core value is love. That's why you don't see anybody. We don't say come and sit down because your father is the president or your father is the governor. We don't want to know. Where God grants us opportunity to know, we salute you and then that's all. Hallelujah. So you must contribute in letting the love of God. The first thing that should be seen in your life is love not power love you can be anointed and not walk in love that means this is the year that you maintain your words the bible says let your words be seasoned with salt that it may minister grace make up your mind this year no gossiping about people no backbiting no carrying news left right and center your job is to love if somebody does something go and talk to him not about him Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The love of God. He says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Not when you raise the dead. When you have love one for another. Hallelujah. There is no doubt that you step on one another's toes. So you must, it must be a predefined thing in your heart that you're going to walk in love. Because the Bible says there remain these three, faith, hope, and love. He said the greatest is love. Hallelujah. So this is the spirit and the culture that you must have. Your conversations must speak love. When you are angry, keep quiet rather than saying nonsense. Hallelujah. The Bible says, he that does not err, if a man err not in words, that man is a perfect man, able to burdle his tongue. Don't say anything anyhow. Number two, character. Everybody say character. There are many Christian circles where the men of God are just thinking of power. Let me tell you, anointing can take you far, but it's character that will sustain you. Hallelujah. That's the reason why you can see a ministry rise up. They are anointed and then they fall like a leaf because they lack the character. This must be the year you will contend to manifest a Christ-like life. You don't live a life, a dirty, polluted life somewhere and then the only place they just see you in church and people say, ah, ah, even you. Character. It must not be something you fake. It must be a revelation. And that's the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Character. 
every, the entire scope of whatever character means to you. When you do something wrong, tell people I'm sorry. Don't say, Debbie, I'm older than you. When I graduated, you just entered secondary school. No, no. Have respect for people. Don't come with village and tribal and cultural mindsets. I'm from a royal family in a village. I must sit down before others sit. Keep your, you have been called out of every tribe and tongue. Are you getting my point? Listen, let me tell you something. Many of us here are young people. And we are, we are, this is a training ground. We are training you not just to be anointed people, but to be leaders. So that when you go somewhere, you can speak aright. You have a culture. Don't speak anyhow. Hallelujah. Remember, you are representing Christ. Especially for as many of us outside. Speak like a believer. Always know that the Holy Spirit is in you. Number three, the anointing. You must contend and let the anointing find expression in your life. It's not enough for you to just come and be blessed. You are, are, are an extension of the ministry. Our job here is to equip you and release you with the power of the Holy Spirit. You should go back to your hostels, go back to your workplaces and legislate on behalf of the kingdom. Not to be jumping and shouting and saying, I'm anointed, let everybody in this office bow to me. Demonstrate it. When there is breakthrough, when there is wisdom, when there is character. Hallelujah. Number four, this year, you must adopt excellence as a lifetime. Everybody say excellence. We must keep contending. It's one of the things I told the leaders, and we'll still talk more during our retreat. Hallelujah. Excellence. Excellence is not about an expensive life. Excellence is an organized life. Are you following me now? Excellence from your personal hygiene to everything about your life. There are some of us who are born again, but we are so dirty. You are so dirty. This is the one weakness. This is where the devil is cheating you. This year you must repent. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't just laugh. Excellence. Hallelujah. Your words. Your words. You must pray this year. Those dirty, godless films that keep putting satanic dictions, you must get them out of your life because you are a man on a mission. Don't say anything and say, this is the slang invoke. This is a kingdom. This is a culture. Hallelujah. Jadel sang and said, this is my culture. You have a culture. Don't go ahead. They, they see you in, in, in the market and you are speaking as if, as if you, are, you are never born again. Even in your joke, joke the word. Speak the word. I'm saying this to you because many of you are emotional now. Immediately you step out of here, you almost want to do something. You just remember, ah. Don't do things because of men. Do it because God Almighty is watching you. But much more than that, that he desires to use you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Think before you talk. Don't just say everything. Even what does not concern you. This is how many people put themselves into trouble. You go and choke your mouth into people's businesses and enter their trouble too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's very, very important. So let this year be different. Say, I'm a light. Say it, I'm a light. No offense, no unforgiveness, no God forbid, no over my dead body. All those demonic languages, pack them and throw them outside. This is a new season. Even when, see, people will mock you, whether in your workplace or your department. Let them mock you until they see what you become. They are only mocking you because they are intimidated by the light that is shining. Hallelujah. When somebody talks against you, bless you. When they think you are coming to divorce them, you say, bless you. I heard what you said. I'm not happy, but I love you. I belong to a God. Are you following me now? Not the year of saying, let me meet with my people. I hear testimonies of people every time. The things that God does in and through their lives. A wonder. Please let your heart be open. No. Don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time. Whether you are outside overflow, one overflow, two overflow, three online, whatever nation you are following, just listen. 
I believe him. I may not claim I know everything about him, but this God, when God decides to stand up from his throne, he said, now arise from your throne. God can stand up. Have you heard that the earth is his footstool? So when he decides to stand up and say, who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming? The Bible says, even the mountains keep like lambs. My God is mighty. Our own belief many times is the reason why God does not move. We come and sit down and pile up. Some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful. But you are there wondering, can you move, oh God, concerning my money? Can you move concerning my money? Can you move concerning my health? Can you move concerning my wife? And God is saying, yes, I can. I am willing and I'm able. And then the devil comes very quickly and says, if God could move, didn't man of God pray for you in, by March? Didn't your pastor fast seven days for you? And you say, it's true. Oh, that's the devil. Tonight, your faith must be open. Your faith must rise to the heavens to say, Lord, I don't want to leave this place just knowing I'm blessed. I want to know what happened to me. I want to hold a substance. God is speaking to someone here. This, this sharing the grace and saying, ah, were you blessed? Oh my God, miracle service was powerful. That's not a blessing, no. You can hold on to something and know that I left this place. What happened? The pain is gone. I left this place. What happened? That before the grace is shared, you check your phone and all of a sudden, a text that you have been waiting for for five years. Now, that's an evidence. This is what we are talking about. All of a sudden, you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach. You have been trusting God for that prophetic grace. And while the preaching is going, all of a sudden, your eyes are open. You are saying, so this is what Apostle is saying. And you are seeing the power of God touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you are saying my God I've gotten this. Elisha knew when he got it. Elisha knew when he got it. He went to the sea. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And the river parted. You are trusting God for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit. You are just connecting one revelation to this. And you're saying, I, I can't remember studying this. And then you discern that something is happening. Something is happening. That heaviness has gone. Where is the fear? Yesterday night I couldn't sleep. The fear of death is gone. Listen, Philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ. If you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it, if I ask this gentleman to give me water, I'm expectant. I'm not expecting a handkerchief. I'm expecting water. Anything I see that looks like water is attracting my attention. A double-minded man. Let that man not think he will receive anything from God. Thank God for people falling and flying up and down. But your eyes is stayed like a flint. Lord, I left Lagos this morning and I came here. I left Bielsa and I came here. My car almost had an accident. Lord, I would have been in a convention now as a man of God. I left it to be here. I'm looking for something. Let something come from heaven. And your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven. And all of a sudden, boom, I tell you, in one minute... I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade. There were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore. Whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba. I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came, I knew that I got it. I knew that I got it. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, you can know that the load has been lifted. You can know that the prayer has been answered. You can know that the project is a done deal. Are we together? The grace is here. More than available for you. And whilst we begin to pray, don't just watch others receive. Be sensitive. 
you are the one who knows what you are here for are we together in one minute i like you to open your mouth and cry mention specifically why are you here talk to the lord please pray please pray pray with all your heart Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family. That pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. My loved ones are not born again. Lord, I can't watch them go to hell like this. Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can't you do what can't you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can't you change what can't you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burden. You're the name above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You 
I will continue to read it for you. Isaiah chapter 61. Please give it to us. The messianic prophecy. Jesus' own manifesto. He's saying, this is what I came to do. Isaiah 61. It says, the spirit of the Lord. We are reading from verse 1 to 4. Is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. For And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair waste cities, he says. The desolations of many generations. I'd like you to pray. Whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family, insist that tonight is the night when it will happen. Overflow one, pray. Overflow two. Overflow three, by the roadside. Those following from around the world, open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord just showed me something like a train. You know, a speed train, not like we have it now. <sighs> just like a train, just passed like this. And I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed. Listen. Listen. We are going to pray now. And like I always say, you'll find out when I pray, you're going to see people running around in and out. Please just guide them and bring them out. Ushers, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers can only do so much. I want to pray. Once I pray that prayer, listen, please, I don't want you to get, listen, please, hold on. I don't want, it, the idea is not about people falling down, carrying them. Please let your spirit be open. Be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow 1. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer. I know overflow one, the overflow outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in overflow one, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already. 
at overflow one outside now listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but where will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the bible says the hand of the lord came upon elijah he was empowered of the spirit and he ran i i am I'm, I'm saying this before i pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around no when that grace comes upon you what god is saying is i'm ready to shift you that within a short time you will see a lot happen in your life in three days the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now Shabalakata. jesus let that anointing right now i shift man speed kabarakatosha speed to your life oh god let every delay be broken now i command the spirit of delay be broken speed i shift you by the power of the holy ghost help that woman please help that mama there please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just just help them there's only so much you can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please i'm praying for some of you now it's the same prayer but it's no longer just for you you may not be experiencing it but your family needs speed the anointing now is moving from individuals to families lord where are the families that need the shift of the holy ghost i decree and declare right now i speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 kaparakoto shegeta ebrekete kete 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 
I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. No more delay. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road. I stretch my hands right now. I move people. God is moving people here. I decree, I declare, I decree, I declare, I decree, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it must work for you. I shift you. No more delay in your life. This lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front I'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three I speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 I lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive I want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold I give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but I want to pray a dangerous prayer I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, I crush Satan. I crush his works inside, outside. I command every power, every force. Go now. Go now. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Just give me the volume. I'm seeing fire by my left and right. Just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now. As I'm walking here. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil. You must go now. You must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire 
and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as i come close to you that fire there is a judgment let them go now i'm coming this way right now in the name of jesus the power of god is coming this area this direction let them go now release them i come by the anointing of the holy ghost let them go now let them go now release them i'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach release them now let them go in the name of jesus let them go now by the power of the holy ghost i stretch my hands here right now the fire of god is setting people free now lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them now lose them lose them in the name of jesus lose them now those outside lift your hands god is about to set you free please i like you to pray everyone pray enough is enough tonight everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of jesus hear me the lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as i pass here i don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now i stretch my hands right right now it's over over now let them go 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 now the spirit of sorcery i cause it now the spirit of witchcraft i cause it now please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves go go be free i command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here i want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow two please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there as soon as i come close to you except god is not god if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now i command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them i break that power now 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 be broken hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i didn't know we have an extra overflow here i want to pray for those by the side here as i stretch my hands to you please don't waste your time i'm seeing fire already here in the name of jesus at the count of three those of you by the roadside one two let them go by the power of the holy ghost i release you please help them so they don't injure themselves i declare i decree and i declare you are free praise the lord overflow three your life is about to change listen listen honestly there is there is an anger in my spirit because as i entered i'm just seeing chains everywhere right now in the name of jesus at the count of three bring all of them out from the front to the back 
right now at the count of three overflow three all of you shout jesus one two three every power bring them out every yoke every force every operation of darkness bring them out i'm seeing chains on people's feet chains 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 be broken now 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 chains be broken now hallelujah bring them out overflow three lift your hands i'm still praying listen i'm seeing i'm seeing patterns something that is not just happening to you alone happening to your father your mother as soon as i pray now i'm seeing fire all over this place anyone under that case you must be free now at the count of three anyone holding any pattern any generational thing in the name that is above all names at the count of three one two three shout jesus bring them out that devil must let you go today my god look at what god is doing in overflow three look at what god is doing in this place hallelujah listen to me the lord is showing me i'm coming back but i don't know why god is 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 on the case of overflow three the lord is showing me some of you i'm seeing you are climbing a ladder but that ladder breaks down and brings you down you see things as if it's supposed to happen but a force draws you back the moment someone wants to lift you you will have a dream in the night and in that in that dream someone will come to sleep with you or something will happen right now at the count of three shout jesus i command those devils one two three let them go now let them go now total emancipation hallelujah jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia embrekata katos kata breketish now now all those who are under the anointing here outside i pass a decree that every power that has held you I speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah I'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit I've not started impartation yet but the Lord is showing me the number 12 and the Lord is saying there are 12 people here there is a strong call upon your life there is a mighty anointing Lord where are they drink of that wine a ministry of signs and wonders ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders i'm still praying the anointing of the spirit is still locating men i don't know why god is talking about ministry the call don't run away from the call don't run from the call a ministry of signs and wonders 
the Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family, a ministry of signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders, signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium. And I stretch my hands from here. It doesn't matter what overflow. You just be sensitive to what God is doing main auditorium i'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive i decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen i'm seeing oh my god the lord is opening my eyes here i'm i'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus, I break that force now. I break that force now. I break the force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key 
that explains why things have not been working lord from the front to the back like a mighty wind whoever must receive that key receive it now receive it now receive it now in the mighty name of jesus christ let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of jesus i'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the holy ghost i release you my dear hold my hands to you i'm saying that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the lord is going to do in your life i decree and i declare it over your life i stand by the anointing and i pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of jesus emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here i'm just talking to overflow three people emeka emeka please quickly please quickly don't waste that time where is that gentleman what's your name i want to pray what do you do i'm going to pray for you you are not from this place you came for nyc I want to pray lift your hands because i'm saying look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh i want you to believe it but every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy all of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree i'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as i'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit
find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now. I decree. Overflow. Two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Gabriel 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 I'm hearing a name who is Gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan Gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around um where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it oleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from Benway State. You are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you, come quickly. Please. Low, low, low like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory. What do you do, my friend? You're a student. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, Are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on husband and wife. Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So your friends. Huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If, if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So my friend, you love God, eh? but you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, No, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look what I see, my friend. I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you. But friends, and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone. It's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives walk by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
my dear there is favor on your life but it's not speaking at all hmm? you're a nice lady come i'm looking at you i'm seeing a young lady but i'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh it's a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married i will now advise him and say mr man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch so uh, god is you see that god is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision i already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that i look at this lady now and say my dear, you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart i already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean i enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen i'm doing well in business but just because i married this lady i start going down and now you meet a man of god and if the man if you're in ministry here please be careful you have to trust god for grace to be balanced are we together i can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we're going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bringing, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus i command this devil i'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now my dear i set you free and i open the door of favor for you right now please everybody lift your hands i'm seeing i've not seen this in a long time i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing an anointing going to benway state Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is in the name of Jesus? The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke, complete stroke. The devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe. But we're going to destroy that now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare, be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I don't know you, but ah, you please come. Ah. This is your first time coming? I need to pray for you. What do you do, ma? you are jobless man huh i'm looking at you and i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed i hope i'm not embarrassing you i want to pray for you 
I give you three weeks, 21 days, ma. Your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you. I lay my hands right now and I declare, I'm seeing chains leaving you. I command those chains to go. Father, turn her life around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Hold on. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I open that closed door now. I open that closed door now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray. The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now. I uproot it now. I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest? I served, my father served and died. And died. Sorry, where are you from, sir? Not... I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, my brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please, quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus name sir I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus every ordinance that is not of God help him I command that it is broken right now you are an elderly man but I use you as a point of contact we break every ordinance of darkness this this lady too priest you your dad your father is a priest currently oh where Oshun State don't be embarrassed eh? you are here because Jesus wants to help you Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now. Everything they have given you to drink and eat, I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I set you free now. Be gone. Now! Out! Let it leave her. I'm seeing that the Father has given her so many things in her life. But in the name of Jesus. Hi. Jesus' power is really superpower. Really superpower. That in one moment, something that has been done in a lifetime can live. Out! Now! Everything that is not of God. Our father is a priest or not her uncle. Direct father. Imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things. But in Jesus' name, you are set free. This, this man too. Why is he here? Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. You are receiving the healing anointing now. Eh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing. Your healing power. Now, oh dear. Our time is gone. This is... Sometimes I honestly wish that this is because there are so many things I see, but we have to work with time. This lady, you, come. Hurry up now, please, come. Uh, we're out of time. Wonderful lady, look at me. You are a savior to your family. You hear what I said? You are a savior. You may look small, but you are a savior to your family. The only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God. Your heart with him, your heart with him. Hold my hands. Father, 
in the name of Jesus, I take away distraction from her life. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. I, we have, we've not even prayed for the sick girl. My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. Yes, I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. But at the same time, I do business. But it's sir, I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry, ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time. Are you a man of God? Stand up. Stand up. Take that anointing now. In the name of Jesus, you step into a new dimension. I take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry. From today, you step into a realm of signs, wonders, miracles. In the name of Jesus. Can I pray for you, sir? Look at me. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Just hold it with both of your hands. In the name of Jesus, I transfer grace, signs and wonders, strange testimonies, your business, between now and 30th of November, sir, your finances will change, you and your wife, in ways that will surprise you. You will come back and testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. This man waving your hands, come together with that woman by your side. Who is she? Come, please, two of you, quickly. Let's appreciate them as they come. Oh, oh. I want to pray for you. Ah. Madam, I'm looking at you. You're a nice woman, but I'm seeing you carrying a load. Huh? I'm seeing you like this, and I'm seeing a load on your head. And if I don't pray for you, this load is going to destroy you. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? Are you new here? Uh, by Elsa. By Elsa. Hmm. All the way. I think we should appreciate them. <laughs> what do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You are in ministry, both of you. Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. You are an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church. Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere. Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja, yes. and then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio and then. Oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things one, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady. This one. This one. This lady I'm talking to. 
I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator. The same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight. Overnight. Evangelist, my, hold my hands. Father, this is a dear woman of God. All the way from Bielsa. I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and I declare fresh anointing, fresh dimensions in the spirit. And I pray, Madam, the Lord is asking me to pray for your finances. Seriously, for your finances. And then the Lord is saying, I should tell you to pray for faithful workers. I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. You carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus. Supernatural grace. Drink of that wine, sir. I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership. The grace for finance. But I'm... Ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. Sir, what am I seeing? This is somebody... It's, it's not directly the government. But this is somebody that is connected to the government. The Lord is going to connect him to you. It's, it has something to do with supplies. That thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you. Please write it. You will see it happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. That anointing. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same. I stretch my hands. I take away every limitation from your life. And I decree and I declare your life turns around from today. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness. 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 Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus, go! Now! In the name of Jesus, you go and write your test, bring back your results. It's gone. Listen, I, can we? Yeah, time is gone. Oh dear. You see how sometimes this thing, we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal. Maybe I'll just pray. I'll just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the healing power of God. Very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now. I pray for you. The power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies. But since we have chosen this method now. As soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request? Let me see. Did you bring your prayer request? Okay, ushers, this is what you, I want you to do. PR department, help them. Protocol, please help them. While I'm praying for the sick, I think we can do it too. Your prayer request. Please make sure 
that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of jesus now i command every blood condition be healed from it now in jesus name peptic ulcer the lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps i command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis the Lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the Holy Ghost eye conditions in the name of Jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside I'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely 
and i'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on. Hold on. Just a moment. Please. All. Make sure if, if, if your prayer request has not been collected. Please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can healed. you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of god told me about it 2012 and i prayed but i was hearing those b sounds and i don't hear really which of them put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes ulcer you mentioned ulcer, ulcer. how long yes. okay where are you from kaduna, sir. kaduna state yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin um, no biologically biologically where no, are you from i'm from each Patakot. i mean i'm from state there's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where? Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and mother. My stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you, eh? father help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman but there is a lot i'm seeing in your life i crush the hand of darkness over your life now and i declare be free in jesus also, name koinonia you are pain. not celebrating you are so used to miracles in this place he was feeling the May pain but as you prayed for him it left it's gone completely how long Since july july in the name of jesus christ may the lord perfect you Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower, lower back pain. And it affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain. Yes. It's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. It never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it just wave it and an usher will come look at that man and you are sitting quietly there you wave it and let them know pain at the back completely healed pain at the back you fell under the anointing ah see you looking in the name of jesus it's, it's a good baguette my friend huh if you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises it's a wise baguette is that true in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare never again in your life
the power of God is coming on someone in overflow one overflow one please carry the person and bring the person overflow one the overflow by the roadside overflow two sorry overflow two I meant to say ah, look how powerful the power of God is I said overflow one and nothing happened I just said overflow two then I now went to say she's had pain on the left left shoulder since how long my dear seven. let her talk how long 2007 you've had what I've had this pain it will come and go come and go but today it has been intense but when you mention the scriptures case, talk the about the blessedness Check yourself. that you happens to a man up, whose down, delight up. is in the law of God. Of Jesus Christ. So as someone said, it says by his delight the person I'm is in about the law of God. And doth he meditate day the and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted the by the, the rivers of, of water whose leaves do not right wither now. when he bears fruit in every She's had season. Serious, um, back As you're about listening back to this message, you believe that your life correct. is going to but be by to ride a horse. planted by the Who rivers of water. Your knees are forever oh, going to bear. <laughs> and we know <laughs> that your, <laughs> your season will not the pass by. You will man. forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. It's amazing how you come we have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell Let to receive to more updates from Don't us. Worry, do your you hosting, know eh? I'm that just whatever that content right here so is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you obtain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. And I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Where? Eh? Debbie. It's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry. They will hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen is by the anointing the spirit entered me when he spake unto me that god is going to use you and change everything in your family in the name of jesus yes go ahead she's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain how Came old are you now pain this evening sir how old are you now 21 21 and she's had severe menstrual pain yes and she came here with the pain today but don't believe that thing oh in the name of jesus i cancel it forever amen. say amen. amen by the power of the holy spirit severe menstrual pain goes back to hell in jesus name i pray amen, amen. yes sir. she had headache heaviness in the chest heaviness in the chest okay and then she had severe headache and as she prayed for her it totally and, left. and what hiccup the heaviness used to make her hiccup she was even hiccuping during the service but as you pray, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card, eh? send it to your mother to bless her and watch what happens in your life you just do what i ask you to do it's not some superstition please you get my point it's just the law of honor that will trigger something i release my faith with you your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing but you watch what that play will do in your life and she had ulcer peptic ulcer as she prayed for her she was totally peptic ulcer how long put your hand on your chest in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, goes to hell forever. She also had ulcer, but she also had kidney inflammation. She used to feel a sharp pain. She's been healed of the ulcer. Now, when she presses the place before press she it. Feel, press it. Press it. Any pain? No pain. Gone completely. No. Come on, Koinonia. May God forgive you. May God, you people have seen signs and wonders. 
too much to a point that God bless you. He had a sharp pain in his left side. Okay. You mentioned it. And then he also used to experience dizziness. That he would just be standing, be dizzy, and then slump. But as you prayed for him, he was totally you just slump like that? Yeah, they may even have to catch it. It happened, it happened once, August, August 26th. You just slumped like that? Yes, I was falling and then my brother caught me. Come. What if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire? The devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge. Then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In Jesus' name, I set you free. You are free now. You are free forever. In Jesus' name. Back pain disappeared. He's had back pain for a long time. Back pain, sir? Yes. In Jesus' name, let it go and go forever. Never to return again. In Sometimes the two eyes go blind. Other times only the right one go blind. But now he's totally healed. He can see with both eyes. Have you gone to the hospital for this? But sometimes you just go blank like that. Come. In the name of Jesus, put your hands on your eyes. I decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. He's had back pain for a long time. He's healed now. Back pain. You see, God is... When there are messages behind miracles, you see that God is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation. It's not just... The bones are what give structures to a person, doctors tell us. That means that by this miracle, God is speaking through it, right? Like he's doing the miracle of Ezekiel 37. The bones coming back. It took the bones to come back for an army to rise. Therefore, I'm praying that everything that is out of order, out of joint, out of place in your life, by the anointing, that is characterized by these miracles let there be a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how long serious pain 2014 and now it's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah, it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in Jesus' name. Apostle, you mentioned so he's laughing on, until he fell under the anointing. A buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear. Yes, oh, okay. You mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound yes, all through. But as you mentioned it, it's gone now. What's your name, sir? Hear. Since 2014, for the past four years, it's gone completely. The left ear Give totally Jesus praise. Healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand the middle finger she couldn't bend it at all she has gone for treatment she couldn't bend it which at one all. the middle finger long how long last year why couldn't you bend it i don't know I bend it now let them see it look at this and then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain she also had as you were praying right now as she came for the testimony the menstrual pain also left let it go back to hell and never come to you again in the name of Jesus Christ. She had weak. Your father's salvation. Ah, we are experts in praying for salvation here. You need to find out how God saves people here. When you, it's not that God saves them. It's how he saves them. That is a sign and a wonder. I was preaching the series on um, reality of heaven and hell. And there was one malam. He came for koinonia. He was seated outside. And while I was praying, he, he was studying his, 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 let me study your IRK or what, he was studying something like that. And then, all of a sudden, he just, I mean, Koinonia just disappeared. And he saw a vision of heaven outside, overflow one. And the Lord Jesus was talking to him. That's how the guy got born again. Remember years ago, the gentleman that came here, that gentleman that belonged to a cult group, you, you know the, the guy, that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place as soon as i climbed here all that the guy saw was i hope he's still in christ but as far as <laughs> yes the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power and so when he was here and saw power he said ah, there's power here whether it's demonic power or god's power there's really power here in the name of jesus there is grace that saves men 
we declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless witness you. was still when we take the last person, that would be also that we can yes, in please. overflow three witness overflow three. for the pain. So as you went outside and you Minister, ah, she fell under God the power visited of God. Overflow 3 today. Oh, this miracle service was for Overflow 3. As she fell under the power, she stood up perfectly whole. Completely. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please. Go ahead. She said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine. But and as you prayed... Come, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, it goes here. Can, her body is even hot. You can see that her body Keep is... Keep ill, cough, she, but everything is... In the name of Jesus Christ, it goes forever. Next person, okay. please. He's had um, back pain for a while. During the seven days fasting program, yes. he was healed. But yesterday, the symptoms came back. But right now, he has been permanently healed. What was the issue, sir? Back pain. Back pain. Come. You see the, you see the, the thing again I'm telling you? Miracles are messages in Jesus' name. Back pain goes and goes forever. Yes, She's please. had serious cutter since 2010 that lasted for three years. Is, is it that cutter? And came back again, but right now she's completely healed. Completely healed. Put your hand on your chest. Lord Jesus, let this lady be perfected now, perfected forever. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Forever healed, forever perfected. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's bringing restoration restoration to your life in Jesus name. Now, he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there. Yes. While he stood up from there to come here, the symptoms disappeared. That's number because one. Because God will always honor faith. Come my friend. Then the second thing was that he had this chest pain, he had done his ECG scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension hmm. drugs but while he stood here, the pains disappeared. The heaviness left. Hypertension, back to sender. Back to the devil that sent it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Her grandfather died of this ulcer pain. Her father has it. Her sister has it. And then she's also seeing the symptoms. But tonight, when the case was mentioned, she was completely healed. You see... This, these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person. Grandfather died of it. You said father has it. Father has it. Mother, sister has, sister it. has it. Yes. Aunties. Huh? Yes. Everybody has it. Most of my aunties. My, my younger sister, my dad, just all of us. Like where are you from? Delta State. Delta State. In the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I cancel this yoke not just over your life but over your family in the name of jesus is gone now and gone forever in jesus you mentioned name. back pain apostle she came for personal prayers last week just on her own personal um, prayers as she was going back she felt like an arrow was shot in her back since last week she has been having that pain but as you mentioned it, hold the my pain hands is... in the name of jesus look at me look at me shout jesus jesus Yes, she please. had this pain in her chest and her stomach. She suspected it Our was lovely ulcer. Usher, you can imagine how hard, how wonderful, okay? She was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything your hand just on your left chest. in her stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that that devil goes back to hell. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus stand. praise. Now, everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand. Oh, they're still... He's had a very mysterious headache, heaviness that just disappeared now as you mentioned the case. In the name of Jesus, come my friend. It never returns to you again. Every other person that has been touched by the power of God, we declare perfection for your body now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, I want you to stretch, I want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request. Stretch your hands and I want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost Embra po shoto prete kete, ekaro sakatosh kalabos. 
Father in the name of Jesus we pray over this request we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Lord let impossible situations please make sure everybody's request is here let impossible situations go please agree by faith as you pray we're laying our hands on this request in the name of Jesus Jacos Kaprakato Shadabakata Embrekete Koto Shabragados Father in the name of Jesus this is a representation of the faith of your people you are the God that answers prayers I ask oh God that you arise arise in power arise in majesty arise in grace in the name of Jesus turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around hallelujah I stand upon this request prophetically and I agree with you for some of you the things you have written here the truth is that only God can do them there's no man born of a woman that can do it in fact if you read some of the things for us even us who God has helped will have to doubt and say ah but thank God that the request is unto God father we present before you this request and in the name of Jesus I declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies they are supernaturally turned to testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ please stand if you can and receive the last prophecy and impartation I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until, until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said. Therefore, please, I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit. There is a lady you have been seeing You have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of jesus I'm praying for those people first I command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah I'm praying for someone else I don't know why God is interrupting me now there is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you I'm saying once you go to bed somebody must come to molest you whether it's a man whether it's a woman whether it's an animal that must happen to you you get up and physical things begin to be misplaced i'm praying right now for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of Jesus now I pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you I pray for you I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names I prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore I speak over your life catch fire healing fire 
deliverance fire break through fire let it come upon you now in the name of Jesus now I speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic I shift you to the next level of your life please believe it I shift you to the next level of your life for all those in business here and you're trusting God to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business and lift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every helper that must show up between now and October miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by God I pray for you and I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ listen every family here that is saying lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives i'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barren or you are connected to anyone you know trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus we release their miracle children now I'm praying for anyone here trusting God for a job you are trusting God for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus I agree with you that between now and October miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor ah, the favor that can turn your life overnight around I decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around hallelujah now I want you to say amen to this prayer that I want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will pick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of Jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when God wants to help you he will carry Joseph and put in him an ability to interpret Pharaoh's dream Joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison i pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names 
we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of jesus christ now i agree with you whether i uniquely mentioned your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands and i agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony hallelujah lord in this month of october i'm now I'm, I'm the one asking for you father a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen this has nothing to do with what you are doing on i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names i pray for you may my god bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes finally i pray for you i don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that god brings you into for some of you god has helped you in the area of revelation but you truly need the gifts of the spirit to walk in your life for some of you you have seen the gifts of the spirit work but you need a higher dimension for some of you you need comprehension into the word of god for some of you you need the grace for prayer you are not lazy the grace is just not there for some of you you need faith and courage capacity to believe god for impossible things it doesn't matter what category i stretch my hands and i declare whatever spiritual blessing you desire i stretch my hands to you now let it come upon you right 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 now in the name of jesus christ let it come upon you right now i'm still praying it let it come upon you prophetic fire let it come upon you visions and dreams visions and dreams let it come upon you the grace to interpret visions and dreams let it come upon you the gifts of healing let it come upon you tongues interpretation of tongues the gifts of wisdom the gifts of leadership administration let it come upon you in jesus name father we give you thanks we thank you i decree and declare the blessing that is upon nigeria the grace that has made nigeria indestructible after 58 years may that same grace keep your life intact if nigeria is not dead after 58 years i forbid death from your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus you heard the prayer of our dear lady here the sister that came requesting for her father in the name of jesus listen carefully i know we are trying to settle down in the name of jesus that lady i curse the spirit that that lady you are with i command that devil let her go now look at the kind of wild wild spirit these are the kinds of spirits that that make people manifest as stubborn it doesn't mean they are bad when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well 
that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.